Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the Drupal 8 toolbar. We're going to be talking about how it's different from the previous iterations of the toolbar, how you can move it, configure it, and how you can add things to it. So let's get started right now. Now let's get on to the admin toolbar. Now this admin toolbar can be replaced through different modules. However, the toolbar here is a big step forward from Drupal 8. Now you'll notice that we have this icon in the far right that allows us to move this to a vertical orientation if that's more of what you're looking for. You'll notice it actually pushes your site content over and doesn't overlap on top of your content. Now, the only real problem with this is that it's just very wide. And so you'll need a bit wider of a monitor if you're working on your site in this way. If we click manage, you'll see it does go away entirely. And if we were to click shortcuts, you would see we have some shortcuts. Now by default, we only have add content and all content as shortcuts. Now you'll see in a minute once we get through the admin section of your site, but you can quickly and easily add shortcuts to this menu from just about any page. As well, you can click edit shortcuts to edit this yourself. Now we would also click admin right up top here just to see some of your user stuff. So we have view profile, edit profile and log out. So most of our time is probably going to be spent in the Manage tab, or once you set up your shortcuts, it's maybe, or once you set up your shortcuts, maybe set up in the Shortcuts tab. Now you'll notice that some of these items have blue arrows underneath them. We can click those to toggle these accordions. You'll notice you can only have one accordion open at a moment, except for when it's nested. You'll see we have Content, Structure, Appearance, Extend, Configuration, People, Reports, and Help. Now content is obviously where you're going to be going to modify your content. You'll notice that when I clicked on the label content rather than the arrow, it actually took me to an admin page for content. We're going to go over a little bit more of this page in the future here. In addition to content, we also have comments. Now if we click this arrow on structure, this is where you're going to be uh, spending a lot of time modifying what actually shows up on your site. We have block layout. Just about everything on your site is a block. We have comment types. We have contact forms, which you'll see we already have one created. We have content types, which is where you're going to be creating different types of content. For instance, if you have a blog, then maybe you'll have a blog post content type. If you have something like a news story, maybe a news story content type. Now content types are a big part of Drupal and something we're going to be covering in a lot more detail. Now display modes, you'll see we have form modes and view modes, which we'll go over more in depth. We have menus, which is obviously if we select this, you'll see that it's all of our menus, such as the admin menu, the footer, main navigation tools, and it allows you to add your own menus right here. We also have taxonomy, which you can think of as something like tags. We have views, which is where you'll be spending a lot of time constructing the custom elements of your site. Now views can be a little bit daunting to learn, but don't worry, we're going to be covering a ton of view stuff. And there's going to be a view pro series that allows you to really get the most out of Drupal views. All right, let's close this and under appearance is where you're going to be modifying your themes. Now this is going to be admin themes or user interface themes. We're going to be going over themes a lot more. Extend is where you're going to be extending your site through the use of modules. Now in WordPress, you had something called plugins and Drupal, it's modules. Now the Drupal module system still isn't as awesome as the WordPress plugin system, simply from an ease of use. However, it is pretty simple. And once you get the hang of it, you won't notice a difference. However, for people coming directly from WordPress, you might be a little bit confused as to why it's not as simple. And in fact, personally, I'm still confused as to why it's not as simple. And next we have configuration, which is where you'd expect all of your configuration options to go. Content authoring system, people, media. So Drupal is a large beast here. There are a lot of things you can modify and that's part of Drupal's strength is that everything that you need to modify is here. Now, in addition, we have people, which is where you're going to see the users of your site and reports, which is where you can manage things like error logs, available updates, status reports, and things like that. So as you can see from this toolbar alone, there's a lot of content here. And if any of these pages are something that you feel like you're going to be visiting very frequently, such as this extend page, we have a star here at the top of this page and you can click add to shortcuts. When you click this star, it's going to make this a shortcut. If 
we come to shortcuts, we now see extend at our list. If you want to modify the order of these shortcuts, you can always click edit shortcuts and we can actually click drag and save our changes here. So as you can see, add content is now above extend. So this is the new Drupal admin toolbar, and it's where you're going to be going to basically get around your site. If you've used WordPress or used other content management systems or even Drupal, you should be familiar with the concept of having an administrative toolbar. So now you should know how you can get around your site to navigate to modify things. You may not know exactly where to go yet, so in the next few videos we're going to be covering exactly these different types of things. We're going to be creating new content types, we're going to be creating new menus, we're going to be modifying content, we're going to be creating a blog, all sorts of great stuff. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want to purchase the rest of the series before they're available on YouTube, head to store.leveluptutorials.com and purchase this series. If you want to just stream and watch them, you can always sign up to be a Level Up Pro for $8.99 a month and have streaming access to this entire series before it's available on YouTube. YouTube. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.